Hello there, Tim Cant here. Today I want to show you Native Instruments Byte, a bit crusher and resampler with the sound and feel of classic hardware samplers. Byte is one element of Crush Pack, the latest instalment in Native Instruments new line of effects which also includes Free, a frequency shifter, amplitude ring modulator, and Dirt, an elegant stomp box with a vibrant spectrum of distortion possibilities. With Byte you can give your hip hop beat a vintage hardware sampler vibe. Make your synth bass sound like anything from an old Atari computer to an industrial beast. And crush your guitar sound in a way no amp allows you to do. Byte is divided into two sections. On the left we have parameters which affect the resampler sound, and on the right are settings which manipulate the bit resolution of your audio signal. Let's have a listen to this urban beat. Let's reduce the sample rate. Turning up the jitter can make the resampling clock imprecise which results in noise artifacts. Let's add some slight saturation and listen to the difference between the dry and wet signal. This bass synth sample demonstrates what a strongly reduced resampler frequency could do to a signal. The pre and post low pass filters are dependent on the resampling frequency. The pre filter controls the signal before the resampling and reduces the amount of high end content that is allowed through and could potentially produce aliasing. The post filter is applied after the resampling and quantization and also reduces aliasing in the output, as we can clearly hear with the ringing sound in this case. In the middle position, the filters are perfectly tuned according to the set resampling frequency to sound like a vintage sampler. Let's now shift our focus to the right side of the device, the bit reduction. As you can hear, the sound is breaking up and mangled due to the very low bit resolution. DC gives the sound more sustain, which avoids signal breakup. The dither can be used to subtly add a bit of noise to the signal. In this example, the amount is cranked up for creative purposes. Let's get back to our beat example to demonstrate the impact the crunch parameter has on the sound. Crunch simulates a recording signal with very bad levels. As you have a low signal, it feels like you've recorded with a lower bit rate. The parameter is continuous, so this is similar to a stepless bit depth control. When reducing the bit depth, you can get even more extreme results. Expand suppresses low level artifacts and can be used to clean up dirty signals. As you might notice, the real beauty of the plugin unfolds when combining the resampler and bitcrusher sections. Let's step through some guitar examples. You 
you can grab the demo at nativeinstruments.com slash byte and try it out for yourself. Let's step through some more examples to give you an idea of Byte's creative potential.